Hey guys, Room Dad here. So today we are in the central region of Singapore and we're going to be checking out a three bedroom duplex home at Suites at Orchard. Now this is an exclusive boutique development with just 118 units. Uh, so definitely a lot more privacy in that regard. Now in terms of amenities, you've got Plaza Singapore and Cathay building just in your backyard. Now the unit we're looking at today comes complete with developer fittings and furnishings and has a great mix of both indoor and outdoor spaces. And of course, the biggest highlight today is the double volume ceilings together with the staircase that separates both the ground level and the second floor of this home. All right, so just some brief specs on this home today. Uh, it's spread across two stories. as three bedrooms, three baths, and a dry and a wet kitchen. Now, total space is 1,571 square feet, and the asking price is $3.5 million. Now, as always, you can find more information to the development in the description box below. And just before we begin, we'd like to thank the listing agent, Venice, as well as the homeowners for allowing us to tour this beautiful space. If you guys are ready, let's get you on the road. So welcome to the unit. Immediately, the first thing you notice is the amount of natural light you have coming in, uh, followed by this white marble flooring, which really complements all the white finishes in this unit. It allows the natural light to bounce off the walls. And it's really here that you see the massive ceiling just kind of lending this entire open feel to this unit. Now, that being said, let's start with the entryway. So first things first, we have a very spacious entryway coming in. Nothing too claustrophobic, it certainly feels very inviting. Uh, over here on this end, we've got a little bit of storage space, so this is always going to come in handy. Uh, it also helps to maximize the use of this area right here. Now moving on into the unit, we have both a dry and a wet kitchen. Uh, I'll show you the dry kitchen first. Now the first thing we notice is this L-shaped kitchen island right here. Now that's always going to come in handy, whether you're entertaining your guests or preparing your food. We have some inbuilt appliances, there by Mille. So you've got an oven, you've got a wine fridge, and here you've got some drawers, some cabinetry, so easy access. Uh, for any of your items that you might store here. Uh, over here on this end, it's very unassuming, but this is actually an inbuilt fridge. Uh, double door, no less, so plenty of space in that regard. Now, one final thing is this spice rack right here. Now, that's also going to come in very handy. Now, that being said, let's head into the wet kitchen. Coming to the wet kitchen, you are essentially separated from the main living areas by this glass siding door right here. So come on in, uh, we've got a kitchen sink right here which is seamlessly integrated into the kitchen countertop so it makes cleaning all that more easier. Uh, we've also got a 4 burner gas hob right here, now again this is by Mille together with your hood. And right in this little cozy corner here is your little service yard, uh, it's enough for a stackable washer and dry it. Now one final thing to add as well is that you've got a window here so that allows for natural light coming in as well as some ventilation out of the kitchen. Alright so this is the dining area. Uh, as you can see we have a four-seater dining table. Now it's here that you really enjoy the double volume ceilings. I mean again it just shows the amount of space you have in this unit. Over here on this end, you've got a wine fridge, you've got a console, and overall it just shows that you've got extra space that you can customize to your needs. One final thing to add as well is the motorized blinds, so that helps to control the amount of light you have coming into the unit. Right next to the dining area, we've got your living room. Now there's enough space here for a three-seater sofa. And speaking of space, you've got quite a bit of leg room as well between the TV and the sofa for this little coffee table right here. Now if you so choose, you could perhaps put a bigger coffee table to fill up the space. So heading out onto the balcony, now this entire space spans both your living and dining areas. Right here we've got a four-seater alfresco which can be customized to your needs. Over here on this end we've got a little cozy uh, reading nook as well. So we've got composite decking right here as flooring and you're essentially sharing Handy Road which houses both Plaza Singapore on one end and the historical McDonald House. In my opinion, when you're here, it feels a lot less like a normal balcony, less claustrophobic, mainly because of the double volume ceilings. And again, it just feels like I'm on a rooftop of sorts. Now, uh, let's head back into the unit for a look at the bedrooms. We're about to head into the junior master. Now, this is the only bedroom on the first floor uh, of this duplex. So, come on in. Now, right here, we have a queen-size bed. Now, this could easily be switched out for a king-sized with enough uh, space on either end for bedside furnishings. You've also got a two-panel wardrobe right here for your clothes. Uh, and heading into the junior master bath, 
Now this Junior Master Buff is certainly very spacious, you've got enough door width for wheelchair accessibility. Uh, in terms of furnishings, you've got both the floor and the walls finished in marble. Now over on this end, your basin is by Scarabeo, and right behind me, you've got your whole shower set, that's by Colon. Now one final thing to add as well is that you've got your window right here, that again allows for ventilation. Let's now head to the second floor for a look at the rest of the bedrooms. Right here, uh, the staircase is made up of timber threads and glass panels. Now, because of the absence of the rises on the stairs, it certainly feels more airy, uh, less claustrophobic overall. Now, behind me, you can notice the double volume ceiling again. And in my opinion, a chandelier would do wonders for this space. Here we are on the second floor, come on in. This is a common bedroom, it's a little bit smaller than the bedroom we saw earlier and that's why it's currently used as a study. Uh, personally, however, I believe you could put a double bed right here and together with this inbuilt wardrobe, this could function as your bedroom. So at the end of this hallway, we've got your common bath and this is finished in the same way as the bath we saw earlier. Now this essentially serves both your guests and the bedroom that we've just seen. That's it, let's head into the master bedroom. At the entrance of the master bedroom, you've got your master bath. And the only difference between this and the junior master bath is that after the shower area, you have a bathtub of your own. Now this also comes complete with your rain shower set and there's a window at the end for both ventilation and allowing natural light into this master bath. All right, so we've got a queen size bed right now in this master bedroom, which could easily be switched up for a king size with enough space on either end for your bedside furnishings. Now let's also not forget that we've got a balcony right here. Again, it's generously sized enough for an outdoor sitting set. We're heading back into the living area for one final look at the space. Just a couple of things off the top of my head. Now the first thing is that you have two levels here. So if you have guests over, uh, you're still going to be able to have your own privacy. Uh, the second thing as well is that this house is great for multi-generational families. So the elderly can live um, downstairs while the younger, more sprightly ones can head to the bedrooms upstairs. Now one final thing as well is that you have quite a bit of balcony space here. So for those of you guys who enjoy both indoor and outdoor spaces, this is definitely a huge perk of the unit. Now, Suits at Orchard is a 99-year lease for development located at 38 Handy Road. Now, within the residence itself, you'll be able to enjoy the recreational facilities on the 6th floor, uh, and that includes a swimming pool that overlooks Handy Road, uh, which is connected to the jacuzzi pool. Now, further back, you have the children's pool, a barbecue area, and a clubhouse that houses both the function room and the gymnasium. Now, amenities wise, this development is three minutes walking distance to Dobie God MRT. Uh, and of course, nearby malls, apart from Plaza Singapore and Cafe buildings, are those along the Orchard Road shopping belt. You've got Boogies and Raffles Place just around the corner as well. Now, for those who drive, the closest highway is the CTE, while the CBD is either a eight minutes drive or an 11 minute cycle away. Now, as for parents with little ones, the nearest primary schools within one kilometer are St. Margaret's Primary School and Anglo Chinese School Junior. All right, so that about wraps up the tour for today. Thank you so much for joining us. Now, before we leave, we just like to thank a few people. Firstly, the homeowners for allowing us to tour this beautiful space, and of course, the listing agent, Venice. Um, now, as always, if you want to find out more about this place, you can look in the description box below. And on that note, if you like this video, do consider liking, subscribing, um, and perhaps turning on that notification bell as well, so you get updates to future videos. With that, thank you so much for joining me today. We will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.